hi welcome to data on my view in this video i'm going to talk about advanced things in css uh, script file which we used for formatting web intelligence document so you can watch my previous video to know about this uh, css style sheets all right so in this video i'm going to explain this uh, css script so where you can easily modify the values on each section that will be reflected on your report so i just open this css file here on top you can see general settings so overall we can define what is the font size or font family and color of the font and font weight so which you can define overall so the sections below like a table i will explain the sections now so whatever the sections available in report if you use any uh, sort of text that will come up with this uh, font so if you are uh, adding this font family on a each section below then that will be overwritten all right so the sections are first one is general settings next one is reports report and areas so this is going to have a report um, page header page body and page put footer information third one is tables and forms so this is going to have uh, tables all sort of tables vertical table that is nothing but b table and horizontal table and cross table so cross table is like a matrix table and we have a form so when we have a form uh, layout we can define the color for uh, form and the next chart so as it is going to make use of excel element uh, we don't have much property for chart only maximum uh, sorry minimum width and minimum height which you can define and we have columns and rows so as we know what are the tables and the forms we are using it is going to come up with columns and rows so still you can you can customize those information through this uh, css file so you have a comment on each section so you can easily uh, understand so what this section is going to do uh, or which which part of uh, uh, area it is going to affect in a web report that you can easily understand and we have cells so cells is nothing but uh, actually if you take a report uh, it is just occupied with the cells so cell cell is the granular level object in a report or a web document so if you take a table or if you take a form if you take a section so anything if you take apart from charts it is going to come up with the cells so all right so we can customize those cells under uh, chapter 6 cells section so in here we have a cells for a page header a page footer page body and even we have a separate uh, section for uh, page body section and uh, here uh, prompt company the default uh, predefined expressions will come up with the cell so which we can uh, customize here and we have a table cells so for table we have a, a vertical uh, vertical table header horizontal table header and even uh, cross table header and we have form cells so that's it so these are the options available which we can easily customize so i just made few changes before that i'll show the current report so this is my current report so i have done uh, two table of figures uh, uh, here i just created a break option to have a subtotal and here i have a Uh, grand total all right so this is my default uh, layout if you want to change the color of the uh, table header then we need to go manually and we need to go to format cell and we need to change the appearance same wise uh, if i want to add a color for this particular row then i have to do the same thing so now i'm going to upload a new css template so which i updated few values on it click okay so when i do that it has come up with the uh, header color and uh, footer footer then uh, it has uh, 
cell background color as this one and the center aligned and uh, table header as orange color and the subtotal row as this black color and even grand total uh, row as black color so these are the values i have modified specifically on the css uh, style so i can apply this css style for whole document or uh, if i am creating a new document i can easily apply the css uh, style sheet to get these changes or uh, to get these uh, customized version of report all right so you can do the changes on wherever and you can see where it is going to affect so we can easily check uh, by importing the style sheet and if you want to get back to the previous state you can still uh, revoke that uh, uh, sorry still you can reset the standard style sheets all right thank you